This is the CNC G coder. Used to nice handheld palm unit, Windows based, um, basically a piece, small PC in the palm of your hand. It comes with a uh, lithium ion battery um, so you can recharge it and then whenever uh, it runs out of battery it comes with a, a power adapter plugs into the top and it also comes with a RS-232 communications cable with a DB25 DB connector on one end and another connector that has a USB port um, so you can plug in your thumb drives and also has a couple screws that will actually plug into the bottom of the CNC G coder. Now if to plug in a thumb drive, just plug in the thumb drive here and you can transfer your programs back and forth from the thumb drive to your PC. Operating the CNC G coder. The CNC G coder can be turned on and off by the red power button here, which basically puts it into a sleep mode so it comes out of the uh, sleep mode very quickly in order to save battery life. Um, this has a Windows based operating system, Windows CE, so you should be familiar with the general PC operation. Um, this, my device, is basically you're like your my computer on a normal PC. So if I click and open my device, you can see the files and the folders just like you would um, um, on a normal PC. You've got several, uh, all your directories here. I'm going to close this out and go right into the CNC G coder software. So if I double click this, window opens up and the CNC G coder um, software is now open. A um, couple things. We have um, obviously a keypad here with numbers and some letters, similar layout to a FANUC control. Um, we've got uh, send, receive. We've got different machines that we can set up. So we're going to go into machines first. And here you can set it up a bunch of different ways. You could set it up where you have, um, you know, for example, most machines are set up at 9600 baud, 4800 and the other parameters like stop bits and, and uh, um, ISO and handshake, all that stuff is similar. So you may just want to set up three machines with um, different baud rates um, or different configurations and label them as such. Or you can set up each individual machine, whether it be a Mori SL200 or a Fadal or a Mazak, and have settings, separate settings for each machine. Um, setting up settings in machines is as simple as clicking the drop down menu, selecting the baud rate or whatever you'd like to change here and you can basically come up to here there's a keypad right here you could start typing and just call this um, Mazak and if you had a model you could put up whatever the model number you went after that, click save Mazak has been added and now we notice we have Mazak in our list so if you want, want the keypad to go away, uh, well actually if you want the keypad to go away, you can just hit the keypad again, hit select machine, and now you notice the machine name is Mazak. If we'd like to load a file, we can just click file, load file, so it's not been saved because there's basically some, let me click no here, right here, this, this window, in your send and receive window, this window is only loaded in the buffer. Um, so it's always in the buffer until you actually save it or remains in the buffer um, before you send it um, in case you accidentally delete the file you can always uh, if you accidentally delete the file it, you'd still have a load in the buffer if you accidentally did that so if we want to uh, load a file we go to file load yes and then you'd find whatever file name you'd like to load click here and notice it pops it into here and if you look in here it says look in this is showing the directory of where the file is stored on the CNC G coder if you want to browse to a different directory you could just hit up arrow and you could find whatever machine you know you want you want to go on Mazak we don't have anything in the Mazak yet 
Um, but if I open up default, we can click uh, this first program here, click load, and it'll automatically load the file into the buffer. And if we'd like to send the file to the machine, we'll hit send. It says 301 characters sent, that means the file has completed the sending process. Click OK. And another way you can load in the file, you can actually browse like you would in a Windows directory. If I X this out, go to my device, and onboard flash is where the files will be stored on the CNC G coder. Go into CNC, and here are all your machines that we just created. So if I go into default, uh, notice to all the files here. .txt or it could be .nc it automatically will open up the CNC G coder program if I click on it. So if I click on it automatically load it in the buffer hit send and it says the file has been sent. <clears throat> and if we'd like to receive a file we could just do the same thing. If we just hit receive it says ready to receive data click OK and right now it'd be it's waiting for data. If we wanted to send, be, I'll put a program from the machine. You'd, you'd watch as the characters are being sent, and you'd watch it come across the screen so you can see what it looks like. Um, in case you get some primer settings or whatnot, but we're just going to abort this right now. Okay, click OK. Uh, one other thing too that you can do is is you can hit the keypad and leave that open. Now close the CNC G coder, and now you have the full keypad when you're in Windows. So if you want to, you know, delete this file like you would in a normal Windows, you could do File, Delete. Ask you if you want sure you want to delete. You can move Windows by dragging them around just like you you normally would. Click Yes. Or if I want to, uh, I can't quite see this file here. So I'll just take this keypad and we'll move it up here. And then I could just go ahead and uh, use the back arrow here and we'll make this 2010. Okay, and that's how you can rename a file or, or move your files around. Now in order to close the keypad though, you have to go back into the CNC G coder and click the keys again in order to close it. Okay, notice you have the program name here that's loaded in the buffer. We press this, it tells you where it's being stored. Your file, your, your path. In the case where we plug in a, a USB thumb drive, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the directory first so you can see how this works. Uh, if we open up the Windows My Device, okay, notice we got a hard disk here. Hard disk 2. I'm going to plug in the thumb drive right now. After we plug in the thumb drive, we've got our onboard flash, which is where it is stored in the CNC G coder, and we have a hard disk that pops up here. So if we open up the hard disk, now we can see all the files that are on our USB flash drive. Notice I've got a lot of extra files as well on here, um, but we also got another program file here. Again, we can just go ahead and browse to where we want to find our, look for all our files. And if I just click, you could click the file again to open it up. Okay. Or we can go ahead and close this out. And you've got a recycle bin so you can delete stuff like you normally would in Windows. Um, and if we go back into our CNC G coder program, we've also got program help menu here, uh, which basically tells you how to load, save, delete programs, um, edit the machine, add a machine. Um, so if you need help, this is where you can find it. 
And once you receive a file, you once you have received the file, you can just do save file and type in whatever name you would like it to be and click save. And then it'll save it, save the, the data that was loaded into that buffer on the other screen. Notice it's down here. And that is the CNC G coder. If you'd like to find out more information or like to purchase, please visit the CNC Specialty Store at the CNC Specialty Store dot com